What is up guys, Loose for Days back again with another Minecraft video. And if some of you may have not noticed, Minecraft 1.8 has just uh, been released. I don't know if it was um, a couple days ago or so, maybe the 1st of September. But here it is, and I wanted to bring you guys this video just to show you some new blocks or newer um Maybe some have been in, you know, 1.7.10 and stuff like that, but I haven't seen them yet, so I thought I would add them into this um, sort of new block collection. So, as you can see, a bunch of new and mysterious stuff going on down this aisle right here, and I put the sign of their name on top and uh, what they do. And So let's go ahead with the uh, Minecraft 1.8 new um blocks that are going to be there all right so we got granite uh polished granite die diorite or diorite something like that and then we got the polished diorite then we got the andesite the polished andesite some coarse dirt which actually looks uh a lot more browner than uh, the regular ones and then we also have podzol I think that's what it is podzol uh, so that looks pretty cool as well going on down we have red sand um, wet sponge and this thing is actually really cool and I can see it being used and with some probably pistons and other things to make cool little contraptions and stuff like that this is what's oh I misspelled that a little, but it is a slime block, and you know you can get on it and you know jump on it, and yeah, that's pretty cool. So like that. Uh, going on down again, we got the prismarine, the prismarine bricks, the dark prismarine, the sea lantern, and hardened clay um, is in this little uh, little section in the inventory slot and as you can see with the sea lantern it shows this um, cool little animation with the block um, kind of like a um, different style of glowstone it's actually pretty pretty neat as well as the prismarine they look pretty swell as well and different from regular ice we got a block called packed ice I don't know uh, fully what the difference is but I'm sure <laughs> there is some type of things alright heading on down here is the red sandstone uh, this actually looks pretty cool rather than the uh, different one and I can see how you would make it you would go uh, and probably find the red sand in mixed in with the regular sand and then you can go on your way from there and building these type of things so you got the red sandstone the chiseled red sandstone brick smooth red sandstone red sandstone stairs and of course the redstone slabs heading on over to the fence gates I didn't feel like putting you know adding on a couple extra times and stuff like that just to keep the fences you know cuz uh, they got the new fence gates as well as the fences so you can match the gate with the fences and stuff like that but I should have put, you know, gate slash fence so you guys can get the idea of what both of them and the colors and stuff like that. But anyways, here is the Asasia fence gate. I'm pretty sure in earlier um, released Minecrafts, the Asasia wood has been in there, but I have not seen it, you know, recently. So that I decided to put it in this little, uh, you know, video, so... That is the Asasia fence gate. I really like that orange color as well with the red sandstone. It, it really gives like a good old color that will uh, match in with a couple things. Uh, and then of course you got the jungle fence gate, the spruce fence gate, the birch fence gate, and of course the dark oak fence gate. So you got those and then the matching fence lining, which you can put your, uh, you know, animals and stuff in I guess <laughs> heading on down this is kind of a decorative item it actually is uh, probably one of the neatest things in 1.8 that I think it is an armor stand and basically what that is is you can just put that there you know just set that stand on right down there and if you have an extra pair maybe you've been a diamond enchanted and you just want to look at all nice and styling and put it in your house somewhere 
put this baby up, put your armor on it, and then it shows it right there. So that's it here. Let me do time. Uh, so, there we go. Okay, now to the doors. These actually look pretty, pretty neat. I actually do gotta say, it gives you a more variety than just using the old plain wooden door. So here we go, we're getting a few options going. We got the dark oak door, the spruce door, the birch door, the jungle door, and the acacia door. As my favorite, this probably out of all of them, just because it looks like it's like a prison cell type of gate and stuff like that. Um, but I think they are all cool. And like I said, with these new type of wood combinations and stuff like that, instead of just using the regular oak, and the you know the dark oak and stuff to make your things uh, they are contributing you know every single type to just give you just more options in the game which is actually pretty pretty neat as well and same with the fences as I did here obviously this is just a white banner but they had fully loads of colors that you could choose from it this is just another decorative item as well that you can just uh, put up in your house and just do cool things you know with here, let me if I actually show you we can head on down up oh, and there we go we have the white you know orange and then all the basic you know uh, sheep colored wool you know colors would be on here as well heading on down to the iron door slash iron trap door and then these are obviously operated by some sort of contraption uh, that deals with opening those types of doors and lastly what I found uh, new to me is the sunflower which is a new uh, guest flower type that is in the game and it looks you know very cool with that long stock and that yellow and stuff like that what I have in my inventory is some new I don't know if it's a new animal or oh I guess it has to be a new animal if you can kill it and cook it but here it is it is the uh, cooked rabbit uh, I don't think it had a I might have forgotten the raw rabbit, but there is the cooked rabbit, you know. And then you got the rabbit's foot, the rabbit hide, then cooked mutton, and then you have the raw mutton at last. And uh, if I go back here, there's some little cool things that were added in with this 1.8 version. Definitely a more variety than it was in earlier versions, I can tell you that. Uh, they're just getting it to where it's almost just going to be unlimited it seems like with how many things that they're adding in all at one time and the difference of one things with another and so much that you can do and build and make some cool things so uh, leave a comment if I did miss anything out I'm sorry like I said I, I scrolled through the inventory as best as I can try to find stuff uh, that was new in 1.8 as well as newer to me is what I thought as I put in there like I said so I hope you guys enjoy this video as well as enjoy 1.8. Um, I'm going to have to go to earlier versions to still play on Mineplex and stuff like that because I did just check and they have not uh, reset their server to the new version. And that might take a couple days or so as well to do that. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Looser Days or Zach. And um, I'll see you next time. Peace.